It's another meat day. It's another meat day. Meat, 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 meat. So, okay, we've already done a little bit of pre-shopping for this batch. This uh, doesn't go here. Except the popcorn. Then we can have popcorn mead. Orville Redenbacher's white corn mead. Now pretty much all we need to get uh, is the honey, uh, some more airlocks, some more yeast, the growlers, the big bucket, water, and then those berries if I can find them. Let's get that sanitation stuff too. Oh, sanitation stuff. Sanitation. sanitation! But yeah, so we're, we're going on and making another batch of mead. We're, we're becoming full on Nordic people, Joe. Or alcoholics. Or alcoholics. What's the difference? I don't know. There isn't a difference. We're all of the above. <laughs> we made it! We arrived, Joe. Before we go in here, I'm going to play Skyrim opening. This better be the opening cinematic, you stupid thing. All I know is Oblivion. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Where is it? Good. What are you waiting Let's for? Get this over with. I bet they have something to do with this. Hope it isn't wreck. I used to be sweet on a curve from here. Here we go. I wonder if Velard is still making that mead or juniper berries. Yeah. Don't you worry, my friend. We're gonna make that happen. We're gonna rescue you. We're gonna help. We're not gonna rescue him. We're gonna make me. Does he die right then? Okay, so apparently, what happens? To I didn't. I didn't really know this because I was just going off in memory. The juniper berries was from some lady in Helgen. So Joe, we're here. We have all of our ingredients. Just, it's gonna be, this is gonna be a very interesting process because like I was showing, we have strawberries, we have various different kinds of spices and Cinnamon. juices and apples uh, and yeast and there's just all sorts of stuff. Tart cherry juice, apple juice, yeast. Now, stuff to mark. are you 100% confident that there is no preservatives in these? It is organic, not from concentrate. It is pasteurized, which doesn't mean they added... They just heated it up and yeah. cooled it really quick. And the ingredients are organic, pasteurized, unfiltered apple juice. Okay. So, I think it's illegal for them to, if they call it organic and they don't list everything, then it's illegal. So we'll see if they're being illegal or not in two months when we find out if our yeast is dead. Yeah. <laughs> we have all our stuff. What do you want to start on, Joe? So I say we start with strawberry. You want to start on the strawberry mean? Yeah. Sweet. So, so we sanitize all these buckets and lids with some good old brewer's sanitizer stuff that we use previous two batches. Distilled um, water. Let me go ahead and get this. Now, do we, we want to use a whole pack of yeast? Yep. Okay. Dry yeast going in. Oh, look at all. See, look at all the extra you can get out of there. Absolutely. Joe, this is what we've been missing out on. Yeah. Okay. While well, Joe is going off to attend to important stuff, Dan. I was just working, and then somebody showed up. And well, then, come over here. You need to start right. stirring this. It needs to be gently stirred. Stop picking it up. Put it back. Oh, Joe's back. Get Hopefully back to it, more. Joe. Mead Master Joe. Mead Peasant Dan is going back to work. What is Mead Pe- That's, um... What's his name? Fertility Horse. He looks like he's violating us by looking at us. I don't <laughs> like him. He's kind of like Quagmire. Hey. This is all about learning. And I hope, I wonder if anyone else, if you guys are joining along and brewing at home, if you're 21, of course, and you're doing it legally. Or with your parents. Or with your parents if they're brewing it. Uh, send us pictures, you know, let us know how it's going. Strawberry mead. 17, hot July moon. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a nice First little. Taste of me. Oh, oh, ew. Oh, there they go. I don't like that plopping noise. There's a lot oh, of That's plop. pretty. Look at that. Sorry, sorry, strawberries. You guys weren't the last in, apparently. We like it. <laughs> well, so maybe the sugar from the honey that sticks to the strawberries will attract the yeast. Mm -hmm. And it'll attack the strawberry, too. I'm excited for this strawberry one. It's oh, very, it very unique. Oh, yeah. I really haven't seen a lot in the lines of strawberry mead, so. If it gets a nice, like, red color, that's going to be... F That'll be cool. Oh, yeah. 
This will go down in history. This looks tasty though. Okay, there it goes. So it is 4.47 p.m. on May the 4th. Be with you. It's Why didn't we do a Star Wars mead? Man, we're a bunch of idiots. Did we fill the airlocks? Shoot, I need to go fill the airlock. If you guys had made Star Wars mead, you could have called it Cantina mead. Damn it. Man. What would you put in there? Sand for tackling? Yeah. <laughs> Made with love. Or a scrotum, I can't tell. Gurgle, gurgle. Gurgle, gurgle. Okay, so we have that. So I'm going to do the honey next, which I've already pre poured one of these, Joe. Here we go. Here's the honey shot. Look at all that honey. And we were actually going to be adding a pound and a half extra in this. Round two. There's actually be three rounds in this one. We have one point three, one four. Oh shoot! Apple have still the apple booties. Have. <laughs> they do. But we're also to make sure the meat booty, gods booty, don't booty. get angry. We're not going to deviate too much. We're going to throw one Granny Smith apple in there. Oh. So that they understand that we're still sticking to our original recipe. Stem and all. Bloop. Bloop. Oh, they yeah. sank to the abyss. Oh my goodness, the smell of vanilla beans. Ooh, I could smell it from here. Get that open right there. There's all those delicious, delicious vanilla beans. Ooh. Which I'll scoop a little bit in there. So booty butt, booty butt. Nice light stir though. I don't want it too bad. How would you like bobbing for apples and mead? <laughs> I think our reprise of the apple cinnamon is going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm excited. Okay, it's cherry juice time. Give it a sip. Ooh, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> look, at, look at that half versus oh. the other half. Whoa. So this is our Skyrim Nordic mead. Oh, oh wait, yeah. wait, here we go. <laughs> we, we have pretty much heard about the Honey Brew Meadery. We like their mead. We've heard about the mead in Helgen. We like that mead. We're going to make a hybrid. We're going to bring together what we like about both meads and make this hybrid Skyrim mead, which hopefully will become the best, hottest mead in all of Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Unless until we introduce them to the tart cherry. Yeah, and then they like that. You're gonna have to use an oblivion portal to get this to deliver the meat. We're we're opening well, we're opening our own Skyrim meadery. This is a little bit more than three pounds. This is actually perfect. Three and a, three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. So that's actually perfect. We got lucky there. We actually probably used. Would you like me to help, John? Oh, here it comes. The muscles here. Be opening it sideways. Oh my. Oh. This has 24 grams of sugar and there are eight servings. Oh my goodness! How much is that? Like 9,000 grams of sugar. That's a lot of. Why do our American juices have so much sugar? Done. <laughs> 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 That's a lot of crystallization on that uh, honey right there. Ooh, look at that. It's like meat porn. Oh, we've shot uh, plenty of that. Wow, 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 wow. Is this the scent of the juniper Ooh. I don't know about that. <laughs> it's, it's definitely a, a different taste. That's why we're not using very many, because if we use too much, it's going I think to... it'll add a complexity to it, like well, I that, said that's before. why we're using it, is because we As a note. To, we want to know why that man on the cart was so interested in, those juniper, in that juniper berry mead. I do smell the gin in there. Yeah, that's See, crazy. You, can, you can smell the what the gin now. gets the gets that like little bit of bitterness. So you could step back. <laughs> just toss. Okay. We're going in. This is this is happening. I think this does need vanilla bean then. If Joe do wants to do that. You think vanilla bean? I'm thinking make it as complex because as possible. Because that gin is very it's very it's very citrusy. It's a very sharp flavor. These yeah. are very warm. We got warm apples. We got warm honey. I think it's gonna balance nicely. Think so? Okay. I think so. Yeah. I trust you. If you feel I like, why. I think let's put a cinnamon stick in there. Ooh. Let's put a cinnamon stick in there. We're doing it live. Very appley. We're gonna give it. That this is freestyling mead right it's here. Freestyling mead. We're gonna give it this fat. Finds nothing of use. Finds nothing of use. 
successfully harvest cinnamon stick. Oh, he's been playing. <laughs> he's been playing Oblivion. <laughs> Up. He got it on top of the apple. Oh my goodness. Here, I'll mix it in there. Okay. You should hollow out a section of an apple next time and just slide a cinnamon stick in the middle. <laughs> and draw a face on it to make it look like it's smoking. <laughs> okay. That smells pretty well, darn good. They usually are. I think, Joe, you want to seal her up? Seal her up. Yeast is in. All right. Water, apple juice, juniper berries, a Granny Smith, and half of a honey crisp. And a cinnamon stick. And a cinnamon stick. From the, the distant reaches of Khajiit land. Oh yeah. You didn't where they come from? Elsewhere? Elsewhere, yes, is elsewhere. where Khajiit are from. And this is an unofficial version of it as well. This is just one on Google that I found that I was like, that looks pretty good. It's awesome. Dragon. Bracket dragon. Perfect. Now that we have completed yet another batch, we want to thank you guys so much for joining us. For some reason, these meat videos are very much appreciated. I really want people to follow along too. If you're oh, yeah. of age, of course. You can, well, 18 in Europe and oh, you mean like US. through alongside us? Yes, yes. No, it's okay if you watch and enjoy us crafting these various meads. But if you're going to join us, make sure you're of age in your respective countries, so that you're doing it legally. But it's a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. And if we can do it, pretty much anyone else can do it because we've been having some pretty good successes so far. We'll let you know about this one because we really flubbed it. And <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned for follow-ups on this and our other batches of meat, as well as going to try out that five gallon and brew a big batch. Any other words, Joe? <sighs> that was exhausting. So Joe has brought to my attention the fact that these just, we just put these away and they are going to be aging for two months and where does that bring us to when we're going to be bottling them? July 4th, Independence Day for the United States. The, the, the day America. after the last day of RTX. Oh, you're right. Wow, that's going to be a crazy ass weekend. Yes it is. And I might have a concert on the 31st of August. That's Wait, nowhere that's near July. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I was so sad earlier I put August before July. My goodness, Good. Joe. Strawberry one. It's very, seen. very unique. Oh, yeah. I really haven't seen a lot on the lines of strawberry mead, so. If it gets a nice, like, red color, that's gonna be. Fun. That'll be cool. Oh, yeah. This will go down in history. This looks tasty, though. Okay, there it goes. So it is 4 47 p.m. on May the 4th. Be with you. This Why didn't we do a Star Wars mead? Man, we're a bunch of idiots. Did we fill the airlocks? Shoot, I need to go fill the airlock. If you guys had made Star Wars mead, you could have called it Cantina mead. Damn it. Bam, 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 bam. What would we put in there? Sand for tackling? Yeah. <laughs> made with love. Or a scrotum, I can't tell. Gurgle, gurgle. Gurgle, gurgle. Okay, so we have that, so I'm gonna do the honey next, which I've already pre-poured. One of these, Joe. Here we go, here's the honey shot. Look at all that honey. And we were actually going to be adding a pound and a half extra in this. Now round two. There's actually three rounds in this one. We have 1.3, 1, 1.4. 1, oh, shoot. Apple have still the apple booties. Halves. <laughs> they do. But we're also, to make sure the meat booty, gods booty, don't booty. get angry, we're not going to deviate too much. We're going to throw one Granny Smith apple in there. Oh. So that they understand that we're still sticking to our original recipe. Stem and all. Bloop. 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 Oh, we yeah. sank to the abyss. Oh my goodness, the smell of vanilla beans. Ooh, I could smell it from here. Get that open right there. There's all those. Delicious, delicious vanilla beans. Ooh which I'll scoop a little bit in there. Booty so, butt, booty butt. Nice light stir though. I don't want it too bad. How would you like bobbing for apples and mead? <laughs> I think our reprise of the apple cinnamon is going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm excited. Okay, it's cherry juice time. Give it a sip. Ooh, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Look at, look at that half oh. versus the other half. 
Whoa. So this is our Skyrim Nordic Mead. Oh, oh wait, yeah. Wait, here we go. <laughs> we, we have pretty much heard about the Honey Brew Meadery. We like their mead. We've heard about the mead in Helgen. We like that mead. We're going to make a hybrid. We're going to bring together what we like about both meads and make this hybrid Skyrim mead, which hopefully will become the best, hottest mead in all of Skyrim. Mm-hmm. Unless until we introduce them to the tart cherry. Yeah, and then they like that. You're gonna have to use an oblivion portal to get this to deliver the mead. We're we're opening well, we're opening our own Skyrim meadery. This is a little bit more than three pounds. This is actually perfect. The extra you can get out of there. Absolutely. Joe, this is what we've been missing out on. Yeah. Okay, while well, Joe is going off to attend to important stuff, Dan. I was just working and then somebody showed up. Well, then, come over here. You need to start right. stirring this. It needs to be gently stirred. Stop picking it up. Put it back. Oh, Joe's back. Get Holy back to it, Joe. Mead Master Joe. Mead Peasant Dan is going back to work. Mead Pe- That's, um... What's his name? Fertility Horse. He looks like he's violating us by looking at us. I don't like him. <laughs> he's kind of like Blackmire. This is all about learning. And I hope, I wonder if anyone else, if you guys are joining along and brewing at home, if you're 21, of course, and you're doing it legally. Or with your parents. Or with your parents if they're brewing it. Uh, send us pictures, you know, let us know how it's going. Strawberry mead. 17, hot July moon. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a nice First little. Taste of mead. Oh, shit. Oh, ew. Oh, there they go. I don't like that plopping noise. There's a lot oh, that's of That's pretty. Look at that. Sorry, sorry, strawberries. You guys weren't the last in, apparently. We like it. <laughs> so maybe the sugar from the honey that sticks to the strawberries will attract the yeast. Mm -hmm. And it'll attack the strawberry, too. I'm excited for this strawberry one. It's oh, very, shit. very unique. Oh, yeah. I really haven't seen a lot in the lines of strawberry mead, so. If it gets a nice, like, red color, that's going to be. Fun. That'll be cool. Oh, yeah. This will go down in history. This looks tasty, though. Okay, and there it goes. So it is 4.47 p.m. on May the 4th. Be with you. It's Why didn't we do a Star Wars mead? Man, we're a bunch of idiots. Did we fill the airlocks? Shoot, I need to go fill the airlock. If you guys had made Star Wars mead, you could have called it Cantina mead. Damn it. Man. What would we put in there, sand for tackling? Yeah. <laughs> Made with love, or a scrotum, I can't tell. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. Okay, so we have that, so I'm gonna do the honey next, which I've already pre-poured one of these, Joe. Here we go, here's the honey shot. Look at all that honey. And we were actually going to be adding a pound and a half extra in this. Now round two. There's actually three rounds in this one. 1.314 Oh shoot. Apple have still the booties. Apple halves. <laughs> they do. But we're also, to make sure the meat booty, gods booty, don't booty. get angry, we're not going to deviate too much. We're going to throw one Granny Smith apple in there. Oh. So that they understand that we're still sticking to our original. Oh shoot. Apple have still the apple booties. Halves. <laughs> they do. But we're also, to make sure the meat booty, gods booty, don't booty. get angry, we're not going to deviate too much. We're going to throw one Granny Smith apple in there. Oh. So that they understand that we're still sticking to our original recipe. Stem and all. Bloop. Bloop. Oh, they yeah. sank to the abyss. Oh my goodness, the smell of vanilla beans. Ooh, I could smell it from here. Get that open right there. There's all those. Delicious, delicious vanilla beans. Ooh which I'll scoop a little bit in there. So booty butt, booty butt. Nice light stir though. I don't want it too bad. How would you like bobbing for apples and mead? <laughs> I think our reprise of the apple cinnamon is going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm excited. Okay, it's cherry juice time. Give it a sip. Ooh, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Look at, look at that half oh. versus the other half. 
Whoa. So this is our Skyrim Nordic Mead. Oh, oh wait, yeah. Wait, here we go. <laughs> we, we have pretty much heard about the Honey Brew Meadery. We like their mead. We've heard about the mead in Helgen. We like that mead. We're going to make a hybrid. We're going to bring together what we like about both meads and make this hybrid Skyrim mead, which hopefully will become the best, hottest mead in all of Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Unless until we introduce them to the tart cherry. Yeah, and then they like that. You're gonna have to use an oblivion portal to get this to deliver the mead. We're we're opening well, we're opening our own Skyrim meadery. This is a little bit more than three pounds. This is actually perfect. Three and a, three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. So that's actually perfect. We got lucky there. We actually probably use. Would you like me to help, John? Oh, here it comes. The muscles here. Be opening it sideways. Oh my. Oh. This has 24 grams of sugar and there are eight servings. Oh my goodness, how much is that? Like 9,000 grams of sugar. That's a lot of, why do our American juices have so much sugar? Done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a lot of crystallization on that uh, honey right there. Ooh, look at that. It's like meat porn. Oh, we've shot oh. plenty of that. Mm. Oh. Is this set for the juniper berry? Ooh. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's definitely a, a different taste. That's why we're not using very many, because if we use too much, it's going I think to... it'll add a complexity to it, like well, I that, said that's before. why we're using it, because we As a note. To, we want to know why that man on the cart was so interested in, those juniper, in that juniper berry mead. 